I don't know. This will be fun. My God, are you sure? Yeah, I know. Ryan and Greenlee moving in together. True love wins, and we get to help. We? We get to help? Well, you know what I mean. I'll supervise. That's what I thought yeah. you were going to say. Do you think mm -hmm. her stuff's going to fit in the car? I don't know. We got the trunk, we got the roof, we got the windows that stuff can hang out of. It's... Yeah, it's, I get it. It's a lot. I'm, I'm going to go get some coffee for us, and really? I'll meet you there, okay? You will? Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You had me a coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, baby. All right. Did Nate have any... I have to take off for a little while. Has everyone who needs to know been notified about the glitch in David's heart monitor? Yes, everybody's up to speed. Thank you. No problem. Wow. Honey, again, very civilized. Why, because I didn't smash his skull in? It's progress. Yeah, well, he's a good doctor. He saved Haywood's life. I mean, actually, whether that's a good thing or not, that's up for debate, but he knows his stuff. Well, I just think it's great. I, mean, I don't have to like the guy, though, right? I don't like the fact that he's at the hospital here, and, I mean, that's completely understandable. Well, no, I was just thinking that it's just great that you could move on. You don't feel it, though? You don't see it? He's like one of those doctors that thinks he can save the world with his scalpel. I don't know what care I ever saw in him. I'm so sorry that I just said that. It's okay. I don't think it's going to be a very easy move for Ryan and Greenlee. Come on, it shouldn't take that long. No, that's not what I meant. I just, I meant that it shouldn't just be us there helping. Zach and Kendall should be there, too. Help! Hey! That better not be more shoes. Thank you. Wow! Can you Look take... at oh, that. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Standing there looking all pretty. Oh. That is fantastic. Oh, hey. oh. You know what? That's a sign of a real friend, somebody who doesn't bail on you on moving day. Let, let me help you. No, Can I, I, got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. No, 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 no. let me I help. Seriously. And a man is on her way over with some coffee. Well, I, I do appreciate you. Oh, for the love of... No, it's okay. Oh, I appreciate you. I do, being here for us. No problem. You do the same for me, right? Right? You do the same for me. I'm so happy for you, kids. I really am. This is, you know, no mas problemas. That's French for, uh, living happily ever after. <laughs> yes, it That's is. That's right. Oh, hello. Hi. Could I get you some coffee? Yes, please. The stronger, the better. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That kind of day, huh? Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you in here before. You new in town or just visiting? More like passing through. Well, welcome. Let me know if I can get you anything else. Hey, thanks. Hey, 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 Griff. It's Kara. Um, guess what? I'm in Pine Valley. And no, 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 I'm not here hunting down Jake. I actually just came to see you. So, uh, meet me at this place called Crystals, okay? Can't wait to see ya. Bye. Hey, hi. Uh, can I get some, um, four coffees to go, please? Oh, one right up. So, uh, where's Jake? Seems like that handsome husband here just works around the clock. Yeah, well, I guess it's one of the hazards of being married to the most dedicated doctor in the world. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Oh, um, Crystal, before I forget, um, we are having a holiday open house at our place, so you, Tat, and the kids, you can come, right? Absolutely. Great. Yeah. Oh, I have to show you the invitation. Yeah. You have to see this. How handsome are my boys? <laughs> I'm gonna drop. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Get my hands full. Don't spill. Oh, thank you. Oh. You have a beautiful family. Thank you. I think he looks just like his father, don't you? Yeah, I can, I can definitely see the resemblance. Do you have kids? No, I don't. Oh, I didn't mean to get personal. It's okay. It's just every time I look at them, I realize how lucky I am. Which sometimes makes me babble on to total strangers. You are lucky. Well, hey, some free advice from somebody that you don't know at all. Don't wait too long. Because this beats everything. 
So, uh, could I get you some more coffee or something else? Uh, I'm good. Thank you. Okay. Merry Christmas. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sitting here thinking, because of me and Amanda, that this happily ever after thing is happening. You realize that, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, because remember when we were renewing our vows and then we tried to get you two together? Remember mm -hmm. that? Yeah. You should have listened back you, then. That's absolutely right. Should have, could have. And had you have, you'd been happier ever after since back then. So really, it's because of me that this is all happening. And I'm, can you feed me? Hungry. Can I trust you to be alone with him? No, Please. but go get some sandwiches anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hungry. Yeah. All right, be careful. Whole portions. Let me guess, pictures of shoes. Oh, you and Kendall, it's cute. <laughs> yeah, we just had a crazy day at Fusion. And she threatened to buy me out, I threatened to quit, and then we ended up hugging and drinking pink champagne. Mm. Now, the two of you now? We're not. She doesn't want to see me. Well, why don't you go over and see her then? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. What? Why not? I don't know. I think you should go over there. Right now. Here's your coat. Here's your stuff. Go on. Skate on over there and talk to her. Yes. Now. Go. The stuff will take care of itself. Okay. You think I'm... Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. You know what happened was... Brandy saw this picture of herself with Kendall and she got kind of weepy-eyed and went over there and talked to her. Oh. Yep. Well, I hope Kendall realizes how much Greenlee really cares. Yeah. Look at this one. Here's a picture of them. This must be right before the wedding. That never happened. And before Greenlee went off the road and everybody's life changed. Well, we are all where we're supposed to be now. You know, she got away from David and Greenlee found her way back to true love. Hmm. I guess that means if the love is strong enough, it can survive anything. Even other marriages. You're really here. <laughs> oh, surprise, surprise. Mm, not really. What's that supposed to mean? Ay, yeah, yeah, you look great. So do you. Mm, siéntate. Oh. Mm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You just couldn't help yourself. Hey, I had to see you. No, you couldn't stay away from him. Even though you told me, you promised me you'd stay away from him. I haven't seen Jake. But you're okay. here where he lives with his family. Don't tell me, tell me you haven't changed your mind about him. Okay, I don't want you to get upset, all right? This is not about us. I'm worried about you. I've been telling you forever. Don't. What do you expect to get out of this? Nothing. Face the facts about Jake. Some relationships just are meant to be. When they break, they break forever. This is our first real Christmas together. That's right. With no David hanging over our heads, just mm -hmm. you, me, and Trevor. That's right. How lucky are we? Lucky. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I was actually just telling someone that. I met this uh, really pretty girl at Crystal's, and she saw our family picture. And of course, I ended up going on and on about how great it all is. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, she seemed kind of sad about it. Sad? Why? Like she was maybe missing out on something, the way she looked at our picture. I don't know. Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't invite her over to our party. I thought about it. She was too cute. You are a sweet girl. A big sweetheart. Oh. I have to go to the hospital. You know what? I, I have to go, too. I have that meeting with Griffin about the Miranda Center. Oh, that's great. Well, that's good. You don't see any veins bulging out of my neck, do you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Ryan and Greenlee are really going to make it this time. I hope so. So 
Sometimes couples just need a second chance to make something right. Jake was a long time ago. And you told me it was over. And I meant it. And then I saw this impossibly beautiful woman talking about her husband, and then all these feelings kind of just came rushing back. What woman? Jake's wife. You met Amanda? No, we didn't exactly meet. I just I kind of ran into her over there. I was having coffee. Is she a model? Did you, did you, did you, did you tell her who you were? Did you talk about Jake? No. No. Come on, you know me. I have my pride. Yeah, I also know you're very unpredictable. It was clear. Jake has moved on. And so have I. The program I run at Doctors Without Borders, it's important. It's meaningful. You know, saving lives. No regrets, huh? Why think about regrets? Just know, whatever I did, it was always for you. You've always come first. I know. Thanks. I'll be tired from your trip. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Finish your coffee. Go back to the hotel. Get some rest. Okay. Will you join me? Yeah. I've got some Miranda Center business, and then I'm all yours. I think placing Amanda in charge of the staffers was a great idea, too. Okay. We'll talk later. Bye. I'm such a sucker for this time of year. Yeah, I think most people are. It must have been tough. Working overseas during the holidays, what was it like? Well, it's kind of hard to celebrate when your adrenaline's pumping 24-7. You're not really sure where the next bullet's coming from with your name written on it. So you work harder. You play harder. Fall in love harder? And we're not going there. Oh, come on. You can't blame me for wondering. I think it's a good idea for you to let go of what happened between Jake and Karen. And you? That was a long time. All right, well, back to work. I only have like half an hour, so. Me too. I gotta get going soon, so. Mmm, the date? Nope. Still not talking. Oh. You know, if you uh, hang out a little longer, I got fresh pies coming out of the oven. Oh, that sounds so good, but I, I gotta get going. Okay. Thank good you. Good to see you. Sure. You too. Miranda Center, at least. You're tough. I'm gonna get the check. Yep. Don't want to be late for your day. Away. It, it, this was all in the past. That's what you said, right? So why is Jake's ex-wife in Pine Valley? Mr. Chambers is almost back to his old self. Long time. 